I'm going to show you how to use Azure Container Instances with images from Docker's public registry with a private Azure Container registry and how to orchestrate container instances with the Azure Container Service and Kubernetes. I'll be using the Azure CLI and the Azure Cloud Shell. Before I start, I'll need a resource group. So let's create one. Creating a new Azure Container Instance is simple. AZ Container Create, then give my new container a name. The image I'm using is in Docker's public registry and is a simple Hello World Node.js web application. I provide the name of the resource group that the container will be created in and set the IP address option Option to public, so my container will have a public IP address. In just a few seconds, a container has been created. The output from the command shows me the IP address that has been allocated. So now, if I open a new browser window and go to that IP address, here's my Hello World application. An application up and running in a container in just a few seconds, and I haven't had to configure any virtual machines or other infrastructure components. Back in the cloud shell, I can see more information about the container instance that's been created, including the number of CPU cores and amount of memory that's been allocated. If I need to see this information again, I can use the az container show command or if i wanted to see a list of containers in a resource group i can use az container list there's quite a lot of detail in the output so i can run that command again but this time add a query to limit the results to just the name of the container and its current state i can also pull the logs from the container using az container logs finally let's clean up and remove the container using az container delete and if i list the containers in my resource group you can see that they've all gone let's take a look at creating a new docker image and using the azure container registry together with azure container instance the Hello World application I used is available in a GitHub repo, so let's clone that. In the repo, there's a Docker file that starts with a Node.js base image and then sets up the configuration for our Hello World application. I'll run Docker build to create the image. Once that's done, I can see my newly created image file here. Let's quickly check that image to see that it works. I'll open a browser and go to localhost on port 8080 and we can see the application is up and running. Now let's upload this image to a private repository. I'll create a new Azure Container Registry instance, which I do with the AZ ACR create command, specifying a resource group, a name for the new registry, the SKU, and I need to enable admin credentials. Next, I need to get some details that I'll need for later. So this will show us the full name for our registry, and this command will show us the administrator password. I'll connect Docker to the registry with the Docker login command. The username is the same as my registry name, the password we obtained just now, and the full name of the registry. To push the image to the registry, I'll first tag it with the registry name and a version number. So now you can see I have a copy of the image with that information attached. Now I can push the image to the registry, and once that's done, Let's just get Azure Container Registry to list the images and confirm the new image is there. And I can also check the tags to make sure they match what I set earlier. Right, back to the Azure Cloud Shell and let's deploy that image from the Azure Container Registry into a new Azure Container Instance. This is quite a long command, so let's break it down. I give the new container a name. The full name of the image I just uploaded to the Azure Container Registry, including the tags. I'll specify that we want one CPU core and one gigabyte of memory for this container. Now I need to provide the details for the Azure Container Registry. So the full name of the registry, the username and password. I want a public IP address. And lastly, I just need to provide the resource group that the container will be deployed in. Okay, the container is deployed and here's the IP address. So let's switch to a browser and check it works. And there's the website, all looking good. And I can use AZ container logs again to check out the log files. For the last part of this demo, let's see how we can integrate Azure container instances with Kubernetes. I'll deploy an Azure container service instance with Kubernetes as the orchestrator. From the Azure CLI, this is easy to do. AZ ACS create, then give the container service a name, a DNS prefix that will be used when naming the resources, the resource group, the generate SSH keys parameter will automatically generate SSH keys for us and choose Kubernetes as the orchestrator. That takes a few minutes to complete. And when done, I have a Kubernetes cluster ready to use. I need the Kubernetes CLI tool, kubectl, which I can install via the CLI with the AZ ACS Kubernetes install CLI command. kubectl needs to know the credentials to connect to the Kubernetes cluster. The AZ ACS Kubernetes get credentials command will retrieve those details from my cluster and set up the configuration files that kube CTL needs. Now if I type kubectl get nodes, here's the list of nodes in my Azure Container Service cluster that I just deployed. We're going to be configuring the Azure Container Instance extension for Kubernetes, which can be found in this GitHub repository. The extension needs an Azure Active Directory service principle, which we can create with the Azure CLI. I need to know my subscription ID, which I can get with the az account list command. Next I'll use the az ad sp create for rbac command to create an Azure Active Directory service principle with the contributor role assigned. Once complete, the output from the command will provide me with some details I'll need in a moment. Let's clone the repo for the ACI connector and then open up Visual Studio code to make some changes. I need to modify the ACI connector YAML file to provide details that the connector will need to access my Azure subscription. These will mostly be taken from the values that were output from the command that I just used to create a service principle. For Azure Client ID, use the app ID. Azure Client Key is the password. Azure Tenant ID is the tenant value. Azure Subscription ID is the ID for my Azure subscription. And ACI Resource 
group is the Azure resource group where the container instances will be created. Now I use kubectl to set up the ACI connector. Then if I run kubectl get nodes, I'll see I now have a node named ACI connector. Now let's create a pod which will run an Nginx container image and get the list of pods running on the cluster. And I can now see we have an Nginx pod running on the ACI connector node at this IP address. Let's jump back to the Azure CLI and have a look at the list of containers. And you can now see I have a container instance named Nginx running. And if I go to the IP address of that container, I can verify that Nginx is up and running. <laughs> 